There's a battle underway in Washington over memos. Democrats have asked President Trump to release their memo. It's a rebuttal to the Nunes memo of 10 days ago on the FBI. The president says he will release it, but at this point, the memo contains too much classified information that must be taken out or altered before the public can see it. Some are saying that was the plan all along, that Democrats deliberately created a memo they knew couldn't be released. Congressman Eric Swalwell represents the state of California, and he joins us tonight. Congressman, thanks for coming on. Tucker, great to be back after our court-ordered cooling-off period. Exactly, which I was thinking about today, and I'm, and I'm glad and grateful that you came back. So 10 days ago, February 2nd, was the day the Nunes memo was released, and, and this show had called for it to be released. And because of that, you said that we were working for Vladimir Putin. Now, the Democrats have a memo, the minority memo, and I would like to see that released, and we've called for it to be released on this show as well. Mm -hmm. Do you still think I'm working for Putin now that I want your memo to be released? No, I, yeah, no. Tucker, I, I never said that. I said that you're making the same argument. You're on the same side with them. But I'm glad you do agree. Well, I was, that I was actually be doing his bidding. So the question is, is asking for your memo to be released doing his bidding also? Yeah. No, I, I said when you're on the same side, you have to ask whose bidding are you doing. But Tucker, I'm okay, glad so, so, you so now that, wait, Hold on, wait. No, public, but please answer the question. Yeah. I'm asking for your. Uh, you said that because I wanted Nunez's memo to become public. Now I would like Adam Schiff and your memo to become public. Am I still on Putin's side? It sounds like this is going to be a short interview because you and I both agree the Democratic memo should be public. Okay, so, so the answer is, if I want the Republican memo to be released, I'm on Putin's side, but when I want the Democratic memo to be released, I'm on God's side? I, I think both of us agree that we should get past the memo, the attacks on process, and get back to the evidence uh, in this investigation. Mm -hmm. But see, when I, what's so striking, though, is that when Nunes was releasing his memo, you guys said, and you among them, this is hurting American national security. It's subverting the rule of law. This memo that you are trying to release now apparently has classified information in it. I think you would agree that it does. The intelligence agencies say that it does. Why is that not also hurting American national security and subverting the rule of law? Well, we did something, Tucker, that the Republicans weren't willing to do. We asked the Department of Justice to review it. And if there is anything in there that would hurt the rule of law or national security, we would want that redacted. But it seems odd that the president now wants to listen to the FBI when he was willing to release the memo before even hearing from them or even looking at the memo. I just want but, but, the memo wait, 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 out wouldn't, there. It's wait, wait, wait. As a great respecter yeah. of the FBI, and that was the case you've made for months, that anyone who questions the FBI is unpatriotic, and they, they protect your life even as you sleep, and how dare you question their judgment. Are you questioning their judgment? Wouldn't you want the FBI to hold that memo if, if they believe it imperils national security? We do, and we're working with them right now to make any redactions necessary. But the way the president has framed this, Tucker, is very suspicious. I want to know if he's pressured them at all to hold back any information from the American people. And Wait, I think are you saying the FBI is subject actions, to political pressures? I thought the FBI was above politics. Isn't that the case that you've made night after night on this show? That we shouldn't quote, well, we shouldn't guy's suggest. Oh, he's already so, fired the guy who was investigating him. So all of a sudden, the FBI is a political tool. But I thought I was immoral for suggesting yeah. that 10 days ago. But now no, you're suggesting it. It's kind of weird. They're not a political tool. No. Oh, because I thought you just said, said that. You said they had just been pressured. No, oh, didn't yeah. you just say they'd been no, pressured? No, I want to know if, if, he is, if he's pressuring them. He can apply pressure without them being pressured. We should work with them. But again, Tucker, this is all a distraction. Uh, it's a charade, actually. We really should be hearing from witnesses, because it, it may surprise well, you. Agree. We haven't heard from a witness in our investigation in over a month now. I agree. And uh, look, I mean, I, again, just to be totally clear, I think that classification is used to shore up people's power in Washington. I think a lot of things that we should be able to see we can't, because they're classified for no good reason. So I'm very sympathetic to your case. What I'm not sympathetic to is the changing goal line here. So when you do something, it's great. It's in the national interest. When the Republicans do the exact same thing, it's somehow doing the bidding of Vladimir Putin. Do, do you see what I'm saying? Well, no, Tucker, what, what I see is the FBI said it would be extraordinarily reckless to release a memo, and the president went ahead and did it anyway. Now they have said they have concerns about ours, and what are we doing? We're working with them. We're not going to the House floor and just reading it recklessly. We're working with them because we still believe in the rule of law, in the institutions of the Department of Justice well, and can, the FBI. Can I, can I ask a question, I think though? that's the difference why, here. Uh, why did you send it to the White House? Why didn't you ask the FBI first? I mean, you're, you're part of the Oversight Committee. You could have asked them privately, hey, is there anything in here you think would imperil American national security? security before you send it to the White House, but you didn't because you wanted to grandstand about it, obviously, right? No, it, it's not grandstanding. It's about 
an attack that occurred on our country, witnesses in this investigation now being given information uh, by the Republicans, and us wanting to follow the rules. God forbid we have a rule of law and a process that's worked for over 200 years. <laughs> well, why didn't you ask uh, the FBI ahead of time? Wait, hold on. Why didn't you run the, the memo by the FBI before you sent it over to the White House? Uh, uh, Tucker, we've, we've been following the rules that we're given. We're in the minority right now. Oh, no I don't answer. think this oh, okay. is how it would be run if we were in the majority. Okay. I, I, think I, I, well, I know that's true. We'd, we'd be in the middle of impeachment. Yeah. So really quick, look, we, we've been talking about this for over a year. You've suggested that the president and the people around him basically sold out our country to a hostile foreign power, Russia. You've prevented, presented no evidence of that. You've said it's either classified or the investigation's ongoing. I want to make a deal live on TV. If you have any evidence that Trump or anyone around him colluded with Putin to win the election, I'll give you a half an hour of this show live on Fox, big audience, and you can present it. I'll let you present the evidence. I mean that, because this has gone on too my, long, my, and I want to know what the evidence is, finally. Fair? Yeah. Yeah, uh, fair, Tucker. But we're not even looking for collusion. That's the problem on our committee. We're attacking the process. We're not interviewing witnesses. If you gave us time to interview witnesses and the subpoena power, I promise you we could tell the country once and for all what happened. It's gone on for over but I'll a take year. Your deal. If you have any evidence at all of collusion, any, and I don't care how small it is, I will give the floor to you. And I mean that because I just I, I want to wrap this up. I'm sure you do too. Because <laughs> you're yeah. not enjoying it. A lot of my conservative friends, a lot of my conservative friends would love to see me on your show for a half hour. Congressman, thank you for joining us. I appreciate it. My pleasure.